Hey guys, welcome to HNS Academy. So Google has released the new Google Chrome 90 version. Uh, previously they had the 89. Now it has been upgraded to 90. Now we're going to look at what are the new features which have been introduced in here and also if you don't have the latest version how you can update your current browser and get to the latest 90 version. So here we are in the browser and this is how it looks currently. Now um, usually when the update comes you might see a small arrow uh, on the top right corner over here just below the, this cross mark. Um, asking you to update the Chrome. Now, currently it has just been released. Um, so you might not get the update um, icon over here. And there's a chance that you don't have the latest version either. So in order to check whether you have the latest version or uh, if you want to, if you need to update it to the latest one, this is how you can do it. So in order to do that, you need to click on the three um, icon, the three dots on the top and then you need to go to help and about chrome now here as you can see in the middle it says uh, you'll see one if you have the latest version you'll see this check mark over here and it will tell you google chrome is up to date and this is the latest version uh, currently um, which is um, the latest one and the google chrome 90. Now, if you don't have the latest version, what you will see over here, as soon as you open up this page, um, it will show you that Google Chrome is updating and it will start updating the Chrome for you. And once the update is done, you will um, you will get a pop-up over here asking you to relaunch the Google Chrome. And once you relaunch it, you will get to the latest version. And then you can come back to this page and you will see that you will have the same exact um, Google Chrome version. Now there's a complete list of uh, features which has been added. Um, basically 22 new features have been added to this uh, update but most of these are related to the developers so um, you know as a normal user you might not need to know about all of those. We're going to look at some of the new ones which are uh, related to the, the normal users of the Google Chrome. Now the first one we have here is the AV1 encoder. Um, now this has been added on the request of number of um, RTC applications. RTC means real-time communication. Um, so we have apps like Duo, Meet, and WebEx. These are the real-time conferencing, or you could say the video conferencing uh, apps, uh, which are used for um, by a large number of organizations. So. Um, these apps had requested to add this AV1 encoder. It basically, uh, what it does is it reduces the bandwidth size and also improves the, the video quality. So um, this was one of the reasons. And then also it enables um, the users on the very low end and networks to be able to do the video conferencing. It also improves some screen sharing efficiency as well. Then we have another update which says that block HTTP port. So they've blocked a port called 554. Um, now basically what happened um, recently is that um, this port was being used by hackers to, to get into the PCs of uh, different users. So they've um, basically blocked this port. It was already blocked by the other some other uh, browsers. So um, they had blocked it previously uh, temporarily and then it was reopened again because it was, um, you know, some users had requested to reopen it. But now it has been permanently blocked because it was a security risk. So it's basically a security update. So it, it has made um, the web surfing more uh, safer for us. Third one we have is the clipboard read only files port. Now, what this means is basically previously, if you get to a website where you have some text or um, some kind of file over there some content there which you want to copy however you're not able to copy paste it using the control c or control v commands and you would be you would have to just drag that content and paste it somewhere and that way you would be able to copy paste but you weren't able to use the control c v commands now they've uh, enabled those so you'll be able to use those copy paste commands which are usually the clipboard commands 
uh, it is also going to be useful uh, previously when you wanted to add some kind of file um, as an attachment to your email you would normally have to drag and drop the file now you can use those control c and control v commands uh, for copy pasting as well and that way you can attach the same file as you were doing it uh, using the drag and drop um, method so these are some of the main highlights which are um, useful for the normal um, chrome user the rest of these um, there are around 22 features which have been added to this update overall i'll leave a link to this in the description so you can go check out uh, all the details all the new features which have been added in this particular update um, and then you can explore those on your own if you are one of the developers so that's all for today's video hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for any upcoming videos like this thank you for watching have a good day Bye bye